Welcome to Routing Essentials. This is Lab 4.1.1.8, Using Traceroute to Discover the Network. So our first step is, let's go ahead and log into our cells computer. Our cells is in our branch office, and we want to go to our desktop and to our command prompt. Let's look at our IP configuration. So we are using an IP address of 172.16.0.5 and our gateway is 172.16.0.1. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's do an NS lookup for uh, one of our servers. NS lookup, you're going to notice our prompt is going to change from PC caret to just a caret. Let's look up b2server.pt.pka. It may or may not like that. So you may actually have to do. Okay, just had to run it one more time for it actually to, to find the address. So bt b2server.pt.pka If it doesn't pop up the first time, give it a minute and try it one more time. So we got our address for that. Now let's do a trace route to it. Trace RT. Oh, we have to exit out of this so that the prompt will change from a caret back to PC that will exit our NS lookup. So now let's move trace route b2 server.pt.pka and that's going to show the pathway or the different hops to the different routers to finding our web server. We're going to tell that to the first IP address, which happens to be our default gateway. So telnet 172.16.0.1. And let's go ahead and log in. With the appropriate password. Let's go ahead and hop over to our user exec mode. So now let's try to do trace route from the router itself. Trace route, and we're going to do it to the IP address or to B2 server PK PKA. It doesn't know what that means. So you may have to do is actually trace route the IP address, which we got there from our NS lookup 128.107.64.254. It is not like us doing that from there. Is trace route available in this area? Oh, I keep shorthanding it, trace RT not trace route 128.107.64.254 you'll notice that the path is changed our first hop is no longer the 172.16.0.1 address because we're already, already logged into that device so we don't need to. So what's the significant from cells to this address? Well this address happens to be the gateway for cells. So let's do a few show commands. Let's do show IP int brief so we can see all the addresses that are up. Here is our local address. 
Here's one of our serial connections. 64.10.150.1 and then the other link is 64.10.200.1 so what does that tell us? that tells us that serial 000 this guy is connected to the 64.10.150.10 network dot zero network alright so let's go ahead and let's tell that to the first IP address that we got, which was 64.100.150.2. We're going to use our Cisco password, and you're going to notice the immediate name of our router is tier 3A. Let's see what routes are available. Let's go to our enable. Password to get in should be glass. Let's show. IP route. What path do we know? We know that we're going to be using D, C, and L. D is EIGRP, C is connected, L is local, and there's one down here for S, which in the list says S is static. All right, so what is the other information? If we want to get for the next IP listed in the original trace route, we're probably going to be exiting out. Oh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Let's go ahead and let's tell that. We're going to tell that to one of the IP addresses. We're going to tell that to 64.104.222.2. We're going to use our Cisco, and the name should be ISP Tier 3B. That is right. All I'm doing is I'm going through that, that original trace route, and I'm going step by step with the routers to see what I can see. Let's just show IP route here. And you're going to notice different routes, different paths. All right, so let's go ahead and let's tell that to the last address, 64.107 or 104.222.6. We're going to use our Cisco. And this guy is named B2-R1. And that means that this guy should be uh, where our server uh, should uh, server named B2 server should be at. So let's go and let's do an IP route on B hyphen R1. So show IP route. One twenty eight seven zero zero sixteen. We see that one seventy two dot one oh seven dot six one is on gigabit Ethernet zero one. We also see that the entire subnetwork one twenty eight dot one oh seven dot sixty four dot zero slash twenty four on Ethernet Gigabit Ethernet 01 so that tells us where the server is connected that's actually it for uh, this router or it for this lab so I wanted to thank you guys and you guys have a great day thank you